Ladies and gentlemen, there has been a lot of hype to these cards. The AMD Radeon R9 Fury Generation, the new cards, Fiji Base, Fiji Pro, Fiji XT, Fiji X2. Look at the specs for yourself on screen right now. Will this card deliver? Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Country60, and we're about to see. What is going on YouTube? It is the Big K Cops 360 here, and it's been uh, it's it's been a tough day. I wouldn't say tough day, but it's been kind of a bittersweet day for AMD. You see, today they announced the new AMD Radeon 300 series, the R9 300 series. But more importantly, they came out with what the fans have been wanting to see: Fury, the Fiji-based GPU. And man, look, they did not hold back. They did not hold back at all. So firstly, let me get straight into it. So firstly, we've got the Radeon R9 Fury X. This is the water-cooled version of the Fiji GPU. This is full-fledged, balls to the walls, everything. We've got 4,096 stream processors. We've got 64 compute units, 64 ROPs, 256 texture mapping units, and it's got four gigabytes of HBM high bandwidth, high bandwidth. RAM, high bandwidth memory, whatever you want to call it. So this is the big daddy. It's got, you know, the whole water cooled version. It's got that nice looking. I actually like the look of it. The card looks, it looks like solid. Like you can like it's hit something over the top of it, but it's like nice and smooth. It looks like a smooth, like textured kind of layered plastic. I don't know. It just looks really nice in my opinion. And of course it's got that pretty thick rad. And yeah, it just looks pretty good. Now, of course, AMD, uh, they've gone on and said, you know, look, we've got, you know, uh, what is it, like 8.3, 8.9 billion transistors. We've got uh, 8.6 teraflops of performance, you know, 4,096 SPs. That's close to 50%, or if not 50% uh, extra on top of the 290X's uh, stream process account. So that is a lot of SPs. This thing, more importantly of all, is marketed to go on at 650 US dollars on par with the 980 Ti. That is very, very interesting that AMD have decided to do that on par. Look, everyone was full fucking expecting, you know, 800, 900 bucks, you know, AMD needs to make lots of profits, they're going to market up high and the card's going to disappoint. When I woke up this morning and I saw 650 US dollars, I'm thinking, fuck bro, good work man, good work. So, okay, just moving on, first now we've got the R9 Fury, just the Radeon Fury, and there seems to be a lot of uh, confusion, because AMD didn't seem to clarify the stream process account of this card. Now WCCF is reporting that this is going to be based on Fiji Pro, and instead of having the fully fledged 4096 uh, stream processors, it'll only have 3584, so a cut down version, and that does make sense, because normally when you have the X, the X monarchy in uh, the name, when you come to uh, you know, AMD GPUs, it normally means that um, the ones without the X are cut down versions, so uh, we don't really know, but at this point, people are rec reporting it as a fully fledged Fiji XT, 4096 uh, SPs, Except the only difference is that it is air cooled, okay? This is an air cooled version of the card, and it's rumored to go on, or oh, not rumored, it is going on sale for 550 US dollars. Now, in terms of release dates, uh, the normal, the regular Fury is coming out on the 14th of July, and the Fury XT is coming out next week. Holy shit, the water cooled version is coming out on the 24th of June, so exactly one week for, from today, so wow. That is some very, very interesting news, man. Uh, I'm just really curious to see. This $550 mark, that is very, very cheap. That is like near GTX 980 perform, um, performance pricing. And it, it, it performs better than the 980, as everyone is saying at the moment. So that is going to be very, very interesting. Now, moving on, we have the R9 Radeon Fury. Oh, I'm pretty sure I fucked that up. But we've got the Radeon R9 Fury X2. This is pretty much like the 295 X2. It's two Fiji XT cards slapped together for 8,192 stream processors. That is fucking nuts. That is crazy, man. Uh, if they price this lower 
or at exactly the same price point as two Furies uh, together, two Fury XT cards. Fuck, man, that's going to be crazy. That's going to be absolutely nuts because this is going to have 17, at least 17 teraflops of performance. That is... <laughs> It's a big feat, man. It's a big thing. And Nvidia's going to have to watch out when it comes to that high-end market. Who knows what they're going to do next. But yeah, we've got that. Uh, moving on, we've got probably the most interesting one. This is the Radeon R9 Nano. Now, AMD is quoting that this has two times the power uh, power usage or TDP to perform. So power usage and TDP are necessarily the same thing. But for the ease of this video, I'll just say... In terms of power usage to performance, it has two times better power to performance ratio than the 290X. That is amazing. This thing is only supposed to have a 175 watt TDP. That is versus the 275 watt TDPs of the other two cards. So, yeah. And since R9 Fury, the air cooled one, and the Fury X, the water cooled one, seems to have the same TDP. That makes me believe that they are both fully fledged GPUs. So, yeah, I don't know. We're just gonna have to wait and see. But continuing on, this little R9 Nano, it's about 15 centimeters long. So it's about that big. It's pretty fucking small, and it's just being cooled by one one reasonably big fan. I mean, it looks tiny, but the power usage is low. 175 watts. I'm pretty sure that's only what 25 watts war 25 watts. Sorry more than my 7870 So don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that is true So of course we don't know how many stream processors this will have everything is TBA 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 So we're just gonna have to wait and see man, and no one knows about pricing of that card either so yeah, that's pretty much it, the big four. We've got the R9 Fury, the Fury XT, or the Fury X, sorry. We've got the Fury X2, and we've just got the R9 Nano. I, I don't even think they're calling it Fury Nano. It's just called the R9 Nano. So yeah, all of them are based off that Fiji chip. It's some really, really good shit. So <laughs> fuck, man, it's going to be great. So anyway, guys, so comment down below what you think about all of these cards. I'm really not sure whether I'm going to put the rest of the R9 300 series into this video if I make another video on it. This video is already pretty long, so I'll probably stop it here, and you'll see that in a second video that's going to be uploaded at about the same time. So anyway, guys, as I said, comment down below. Tell me what you think. Are you going to buy one of these cards? Because they do look pretty fucking sick. They're priced quite competitively. I mean, if that Fury X2 is priced at full bit over a thousand bucks or at a thousand dollars that's gonna change the game and i mean the 295x2 was priced very aggressively and it was water cooled and it had the performance so you know who knows guys anyway thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed and look boys i got you covered i will see you later